Hello everyone. In the previous video, we talked about the contact types like normally open and closed contacts, positive pulse and negative pulse contacts. So in this video tutorial, I am going to talk about some possible output coil symbol. We have normally a negative coil, set latch coil and reset latch coil, positive transition sensing coil and negative transition sensing coil. Coils like contacts are basic graphic elements of the later diagram language. Let's connect all the later diagram coil symbols to an input contacts. Run the program. All coil types transmit the value of the input contacts from left to right and copy them in appropriate boolean variable. At the entry line, the value on corresponds to the boolean variable true or the value of corresponds to false. Here the negative coil considered as a coil that followed by logic not get. It does the reverse of the normal coil instructions. The logic value of the left side rank equals to zero. So the negative coil writes one different from the other coil. If the input contacts becomes true, the negative output coil turns off while the output coils and the set coil turns on. The positive transition sensing coil also need to be true, but we couldn't see because it is a positive transition sensing coil. And this instruction gives out a pulse in the scan time where the positive transition happens. But the negative transition sensing coil gives out a pulse in the scan time when transition is from 1 to 0. To see the change in the positive and negative transition sensing coil, uh, let us add the pulse timer. Now run the program. Positive transition happens when the left side logic value changes from 0 to 1 and vice versa uh, for the negative transition sensing coil. Set coil and reset coil. In the set coil, if the value true arrives, at the set coil, the coil retains the value true. In reset coil, if the value true arrives at the reset coil, the coil retains the value false. Uh, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.